So here we are, just waiting on both players arriving. And this is another match in this year's 2016 VP4 US Open. We've got Stwain Kubrick from France, I believe. Is his uh, logos going to work? No, they're not. And Billy Big Rigger, I think, is from the States. And it's a race to 21. No handicap in this uh, tournament. Good lag in the left. And Billy Big Rigger has won the lag and he's to break off. And while he's doing that, let's just have a quick look at the bracket. This is the match we're going to be watching. And it's a round three match. And there's another match. In fact, there's two matches going on at the moment. Uh, we've got Yami Gucci, Gucci Taru, who's playing Baker Maker, and they're tied up at 8 all. And I believe uh, there's another match further up the bracket, which I think is Larry, who's playing Dirties, or Dr. Ties. And Larry's running away with that match. He's up 16-4. Larry's a bit too strong for dirties. Okay, right. Let's settle down and see what we've got here. I think the two goes past the six, no problem. Is he going to hook himself behind the eight? Well, that's a bad mistake. Plenty of room to get past that eight ball. And already we're out of the jump queue. Bit of a distance to go over the eight ball first of all. Oh, he's done it. And he's going to have a shot in the four. Now can he avoid this nine ball? Because if he can't, the cue ball's going to stay in the left-hand side of the table, and that's not really any good, because the five doesn't go past the seven. Well, that makes it interesting. Now, that five isn't on for a bank into this pocket, because the seven's in the way. Now, what he needs to do is, is make sure he keeps the five well away from the nine, if he's going to knock the five around the table or whatever he's going to do needs to keep it away from the nine well he tried a, a very ambitious cut shot and that set it up for Stwain just needs to hold the cue ball there really now he's got a bit more angle on this six than he really wants, so he's going to have to drop this six in slow. Well, he's managed to get it off the rail, but he's short. He's either going to do the cut or go for the bank. He needs to watch the cue ball, though. He's got the cut, and he's sitting perfect in the eight ball. He can just drop in behind the nine. Must have been a bit more straighter than I thought. So we've got the first rack in the board and it goes to Stwain Kubrick. And let's see how the breaks go in this match. We had one match where both players struggled to get anything in the break and then we had a match earlier today where we had about three or four nine balls in a break within the space of about five or six racks. So we've lost the four ball. And he's just got a. Oh, how, how did he manage to jump that and come back and avoid hitting any of those balls? I don't know, but uh, ball in hand to Billy and he needs to get an angle on this five to, eh, sorry on the, the one to get past that five and try and hit the, the two and the nine. Well, 
he just played around it and now he's out the jump stick again so the two is going to go towards the rail and towards the nine ball and that's probably going to hold it there which it has done now where's the cue ball going is it going to hold up well you can see you can see the two ball and this will need a delicate little touch in at the middle if he's going to drop that in but the cue ball is going to be coming up to our end of the table well he's tried to stun it in and stun across but that is a bit too much for the pocket now situations like this Billy knows he's got to run out I mean, the balls are all sitting nice no, not any problems the problem here though is he's dead straight on the five so he's got to control the pace and this is the hardest one to do to draw for position well if he misses a seven he's okay that looks good he's going to come off the rail try and sort of sit parallel with the seven again that looks a bit straight yeah so he can either just drop behind the eight and take it long up into that top corner pocket or he can um draw back and just watch he doesn't get too much into it because he could scratch in the middle oh he's okay and once again he's left it straight and this is creating problems so he can only go back the way and again it'll be a big draw plenty of room to manoeuvre them. Well I think that was a, I don't know whether he did try to do the big draw but he certainly sort of, it was a sort of stun draw and now he's got an awkward cut. But in it goes. So it's one all. Balls going all over the place, but none of them going into any pockets. But look at the way they, look at the way they're spread. They're spread perfect again. Uh, that's a bit weak. Uh, let's see what sort of angle he's got here. Well, he's got a narrow path to manoeuvre this cue ball between the nine and the three. And it needs to come off the end rail and back up. Well, he's trying to play it slow and leave himself a mid range cut in this too. And the problem here now is the path of the cue ball. Yeah, it's always likely to collide with something, but again, he's still got a shot though. It's getting awkward, we're struggling for good position here. Again the cue ball's going to be rolling. Now if it keeps going he's got a straight five into the bottom left. And that's looking a bit better because all he needs to do now is just drop through a little for this six ball. Doesn't want to go too far though. Well, he's okay. He could stop the cue ball there. He doesn't want to try and draw back for position off the rail because the line that it's going means it's going to come in here and hit the seven ball. So, better leaving it at distance. And again, cue ball is rolling. 
He certainly doesn't want to go up left because there's a danger of going near that nine ball. Well, he's gone left, but he's come off the rail and out behind it, and that's looking pretty good. A simple roll in. That's all that's required. So, Billy Big Riggers taking the lead. And with the break in rack number four. Four ball drops in the bottom right. And he's nice on the one into the middle, so. He's going to have work to do though. Let's have a look at the top end of that table because that 8 and 9 looks set as a combo. Well, it's not quite. So that's going to be the difficult one. Oh, that's a bad miss. And I don't know whether he was thinking more about the 2 than he was the 1, but the 2 certainly ended up in no position to pot it. Now, I wonder if uh, Strange thinking here, because he, if he had played this straight on the 5 rather than there, if he would kept it parallel with the 5 by that uh, right diamond in the bottom rail here, he could have actually had an angle to stun into that 9 ball and hold for the 6. And that would have uh, maybe made his life a wee bit easier in trying to run the rack. Now he can't do that. So he's got to go over to the 7, and again with the 7... He needs an angle so he can try and move the cue ball into those two balls and, well, he's got the angle, he might need to come off this rail, the side rail, and try and work it in if he puts too much English on it. Oh, he's played that delicate and that looks not bad. But the only problem now is he's going to have to go up and down the table. So it needs a wee bit of power, this. And... He's got the power, but missed the pot because of it. Now, the eight ball's fairly tight to that rail, so it's not a good bank. It's got to be clean, and there's a strong risk of a double kiss here. And, of course, the other problem is there's no way he's going to be on the nine ball. Could easily just bank that towards the nine and get the cue ball down the table. And leaves Dwayne a long shot. Well, I, I don't think there'll be much other than a, a bank into the middle here because he can get on the nine from this. Nope, decided against it. And that's a ball in hand, is it? No, he did hit the rail. What am I thinking about? He hit the rail after he hit the eight. Play a cross bank, why he looks he's playing a big draw. You know, he's got the cut down the rail, and that's excellent, but it needs to keep going. Well, where it stopped here is actually going to give him a cut. It's not perfect, but it's still better than nothing. And it's about half an inch off the rail. Well, he's teed it up. Very difficult to get them right. And it's an easy one for Strain to tie the match up. Two racks all. And Strain breaking quite close to the rail. And I don't think anything went down, did it? One, two, three. Nope. Billy's well he's looking to push well 
there's a good safety on here. There's a lot of cover there. He, Strink can come off the right hand side of the one. Well, he got that far too thick, but the problem with that was he was queuing over the two and couldn't really get a good sight on that shot. Same thing though for, for Billy, he can either leave the one ball in behind a bunch of balls and just bank the one up the table, eh, the cue ball, sorry. So he's left a cue ball in behind him. Now that's going to be a problem because... Can he make the angle off that side rail? He's going to struggle, I think. I think the two ball's in the way. Unless he plays this with inside English to check the cue ball, but I don't think he can make the angle. Plus, he can't get past the three. So he's going for a jump here. Well, he just caught the edge. Unfortunately, he still left it on. But um, Billy's got an awful lot of work to do in this rack. The three sitting there. I think that three's actually not touching a nine. The three goes, but it's getting down there and getting onto it that's a problem. And again, Billy should be thinking about distance here. He's got a nice angle just to bank the two into the middle of the table and put the cue ball up behind the bunch. I don't know why he went for that because I think he's actually left the two on and he's nudged the three out now. He had no shot in the three. And there's an instance there where you have to look at the safety element of the game rather than trying to pot everything when especially when your chances of getting on the next ball are nigh on impossible. Again, here's another example. This should be a safety which he's played, but he's played it weakly, so he's handed over control of the table again. And likewise, Billy's got no shot in the three, really. He could cut it, but he's got to just look for cover. Well, I don't know what that was meant to be. But he should be in trouble in a minute. Let's nip down to the bottom end here and have a look and see what's going on. I think you can just feather the edge of the three. There's not a lot he can do with the cue ball because it's going to hit the nine and brush across to the left hand side unless he's really going to batter these. Well, he's managed to just edge it behind the four, and that's good enough. As a result of Larry's match came in, Larry, heavy favourite for that match. Far too much experience for Dirties or Dr. Ties or whatever he is. Larry wins that match by 21 racks to 5. This cue ball looks as if it's going to run behind the six. Yeah. Well, Billy's determined to get this jump stick out. And you could kick behind that off the end rail there and punch the four up the table, and if it avoided the seven, the, uh, the eight and the nine ball. It might have got a safety, but as it is, he's 
did the jump, got the ball, but now he's got a really, really tough uh, positional shot here. He's got to avoid the 8 and 9 if he's going to try and get across with a 6. So, well, he's managed to just chip. He's going to scratch, is he? Yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's what always is a high risk of happening when you start having to let the cue ball run. And that little nudge off those two balls sent it into the pocket. And that's given Strain a, a gift of a chance. Now he needs to get around the corner here. And that needs to move, it's a bit slow. And he's wrong side of the eight. And he's going to have to manoeuvre this cue ball around the table. Oh dear, oh dear. Well that's two instances where the cue balls had to run and uh, you know there's always a chance. First one it clipped a ball and that's what sent it into the pocket. And that one there off one rail and straight into the pocket. So this is why positional play is the major part of the game. And if you make your life, you certainly make your life a lot easier if you can get better control of the cue ball. So, Billy takes that gift. And he leads by three racks to two. Got a ball and a break. So the uh, the eight balls going down. I don't know whether he can see enough with that one though. No, he's given up that idea. He's just going to push out. Now where does he push? He pushes down this end. Well, he's played that right because he's taken away the bank, which is probably what Strain would have been thinking about there. If that three ball wasn't there. And that's quite good. I think he's got cover. Yeah, full cover. And now the angle isn't there off that end rail. Well, he maybe can go behind the nine. Might be able to make it. That's good, and it's gone safe. And this time, Strain doesn't get the cover. That's gone loose. And this is one of these ones where if he stuns this he could stun straight in the middle pocket but he's got the rail and if he's kissed the four he's perfect. Now he just needs to come across off the two cushions, avoid that six ball and drop the three in and stay this side of the four ball so he's got an angle to get up for the five. That could have done with going a wee bit more but he's okay and he just doesn't want to hit this too hard. Well, he took out any risk of a, a hook there on himself by staying the right hand side of the five and that needs to slow up. Well, well now he's in the proverbial no man's land. Again, is it a wild cut or is it trying for safety? Just feathered the six, that looks good. He'll be happy with that. No doubt we'll see another jump shot in a second. 
unless you get the cue ball tight in behind one of the blocking balls most players are going to dig out the jump stick That's a good shot. Needs a kiss off the seven if he can. Well, what does that look like from his view? Well, I think the cup might be on. He can just thin this. Cue ball again, running all around the table. And again, it's run too far. So now he can play the bank shot, it might end up in a double bank, or is he going for the cut? Well, double bank into the middle, and it works out. And Billy's now developed a little gap, leads by four racks to two. Two ball drops into the right middle. You can cut this back into the top left as we look. Needs to keep running. And that's okay. But I don't think he's got a shot, a long shot, so you're going to have to cut this into the right middle again. Anywhere up in that top half of the table, and he should have a shot in a four. And he's played that well. Played that with a lot of inside English to kill the cue ball off that end rail and punch it over to the right. And now just a delicate little drop in shot just to finish down at the bottom here for this five ball. He needs to make sure he gets beyond the seven well he's done it the other way and stayed the north side and that way he took that risk out of the equation that was good thinking but he's overcut the five and he's got away with it now Strain's got a an awkward one because I don't think the angle is there again off that uh, rail because of the six ball and he's looking to try and see if he can see an edge on it but well he got the kick sent the five ball right into the middle of the table and Billy's been given a chance here to snatch another rack. Oh, I thought that was going to hit the jaw. Now he's got a perfect angle in the seven. It's just all about pace again. And he's fell way, way short with that one. He sort of chickened out in that shot. Well, he's either going to have to go all out and just drop this eight ball in dead weight if he wants to keep the cue ball anywhere near that nine. Or he can go all around the table. Well, he tried to bank it. And this would be a good one for Strain to steal. He's got to work the cue ball, though. He needs to slow down. That'll do it. So, that's one that uh, got away. And we've been playing just over 30 minutes. And we've uh, just played the six racks. 
And that was a good break. Managed to get some kill in the cue ball. It's been kicked back up the table, but no joy in the break. a bit too strong but he's actually finished on the two <laughs> I don't believe he played it there but you take what you can get he's overcut it well, this is a difficult one to manoeuvre the cue ball here from this distance Maybe try and come off the side rail and cut the two in, which is what he'd done, but didn't play it with anywhere enough pace. And now he'll just look to bank that three and try and keep the cue ball down there behind the seven. Unless he's going to try and cut it. And that's what he tried, and he came behind it. to avoid that jaw and that's worked out very nice indeed the only problem is I think he's dead straight again yeah this is going to have to be manufactured creating an angle that isn't there and of course at that pace these pockets are very unforgiving but Strange now get the same problem he's got the five no no bother but he needs to control his position here it needs to keep running and that's okay now anywhere really in the middle of the table he's either gonna have a shot into a corner or he can just play the well that's gone all wrong and Strain needs to settle down well Billy gets the second prize in that shot Missed the six, but Billiard did the uh, eight ball in, and he's still sitting pretty. But again, he's left the cue ball at distance, so he's got to have to use power again, and this has got to be accurate. Lots of top. Or is he drawing it? Well, he's going for the old hippo draw, and again, of course, he's now he's a, well, I think he's got away with that, because I thought he was going to scratch there. Strain, is he feather on the edge? I think he is. Just tuck it along the rail. Get as much distance as he can. Now that uh, seven ball is sitting pretty much on the middle diamond and that's a good guide for a bank and again it could be a, end up being a double bank but you don't want to blast these well he's went the other way he went for the reverse but well, that works but now he's got himself under pressure here with this nine ball Played it well, and that opens up the gap again. And 
Billy Big Riggers leading Strain by five racks to three. Well, the seven ball tucked its way into that top right hand corner. Two balls going in. No shot in the one. Again, he could bank it. Oh, that flies into the middle pocket. What's he going to do? Three ball into the bottom right. As long as he hits it hard enough, the cue balls. Hopefully not going to tuck in behind the five and the six here, because the four's over that right middle. Well, he's went for the safety instead, and that's pretty good. Giving Strain lots to think about. And I think he's going to try and jump this, but I thought that was too close. But it, even if he didn't jump, the actual shot to get to this three is very, very difficult. But he's got the jump. Missed the pot though, but he'll still be happy he actually got it. What does that five ball look like? Well, that's got to get the cue ball pretty much lined up to get that five into the middle. And does it go past the six? Well, it does. It's tight, but you can cheat the pocket if he gets right behind it. It's going to be a, a pot into the middle, but this really just needs to be dropped in. The cue ball's going to end up close to the six. Well, he played that firm. I didn't think it got at that pace. And he's, he's okay. You can cut this down the rail. There's no fear of the in off. It's going to hit that rail. It's a little tester. And in it goes. And Billy has now got a three rack lead. Leads by six racks to three. And breaking off in rack number ten. Six ball drops in. Top left. Again, he's got no luck, he's got no real shot in the one. Got a bank though, but no shot in the two either. And he's going to finish behind the nine. Billy's convinced he can jump over this nine. Oh, he's given up that idea. He's now into his 15 second extension, so he's not got a lot of time to work out an angle here. And in the end he had to rush his shot. So it's not going to get there. And Strain's got ball in hand. And 
Now this is a slight problem. You could actually just nudge that jaw with this two ball. He's played it clean. Well, it looks as if it's uh, either going to be a 5-9 combo or he's going to get that cute. Well, again, he's taking his eye off it. And that's careless. But again, he's got away with it. I think that was a good shot, yep. Well, you certainly don't want to be nudging that four to the rail and lean any any combo onto that nine. Well, he's just done enough there. a good shot, it landed on the four but actually pushed it forward into the pocket well now he's got a, a fiddly little 5-9 combo I don't know whether he can bank that is he trying to follow through and push the 9 in well he, he's. I think he's trying to make the bank this is going to be awkward well he's tried to push the 9 in that was uh, that was what he was thinking about there. And that was a good shot between. But can he hold it together for these three balls? Well, I think he's okay now. Just roll the eight in. And Strain reduces his arrears by one rack and he trails by six racks to four. But unfortunately for him, no joy in the break. And that nine ball's very adjacent to that top left-hand corner pocket. Now this is where you've got to be thinking about where you're leaving the cue ball and where you're leaving the next ball in line. Now there's no balls close to that nine ball, but it wouldn't take much to knock it in. ball just kicks away the four it was almost a good safety there oh this will be a good shot if he kisses into that four I just brush the two well that's unlucky that was almost a very good positional shot Now he's going to try some super cut shot. Oh, is he going to knock the nine in? Well, there you go. What did I tell you? Nine ball very adjacent, but that's a stroke of luck, not genius. But all that matters is that Stoyne's trailing by three racks. Billy Big Rigger flukes the nine to lead by seven racks to four. He 
needs to keep rolling and he's okay and all he's going to have here would be a 3-7 combo or he can come down the right hand side of the table well that wasn't a great shot this is that type of shot means you're hoping to get position rather than actually playing the right shot to get position. But he's managed to squeeze the three in somehow. But you're not going to get many of those per rack. Definitely not. And now he's left himself not very close to the six so again he's got to pull out a good shot and he's hit it in and he's managed to managed to get it in off the rail well he's on a knife edge here at the moment and that needs to slow down that's going too far and he's finally maybe met his match here with this shot It's been sort of all over the place in this rack. Well, Billy's got no option here other than the bank, I think. He needs to get the cue ball out of the way, but I don't know whether he can read an angle to actually try and cut that into the corner. Oh, he's played that well and he's got a good shot in the nine so again that rack for strain that all went well it was all going awry pretty much from the start the cue ball going all over the place struggling for position and in the end it caught him out and he's now eight racks to four behind And the one thing about these type of matches, race to 21, if you've got a weakness, you're going to be found out at some point. So we've got the four ball tucked up in that corner. So it's important that the cue ball gets into that narrow gap to be able to play a shot on it as long as it doesn't scratch oh that's unlucky but Billy's going to have this problem in a second or two He's playing to get on to the three. And then, of course, he's got the problem to deal with with the four. And he's looking at it. So roll the two in. Now... I don't think that's ideal, is it? No. Nope. He's a bit straight, but I think he can force it through. He doesn't want to force it too much. He wants to get the cue ball in the middle there. That's pretty good. Settle for that. Now see if he can nudge this five. Well, he's killed it and stopped it, and that's a good shot. Now, does the 6 go past the 8 ball? Yes, it does. Plenty of room there, so there's not any problems up this end. However, he's got the wrong angle in the 6. And, of course, the 8 is blocking this pocket if the cue ball travels up the top end. Well, that's made up his mind there, he's going to go for the bank get 
gets it clean. And leaving himself the long nine. And there's a bit of a crisis going on here for Strain. It's early in the match, but already, <coughs> excuse me, already Billy, Billy, uh, I'll say it again. Billy Big Rigger's got a five rack lead out of nowhere, really. And Strain's just stumbling around a bit. And he needs to get his mind on it straight away and deal with it. Got to try and do something to disturb Billy's game. Well, that's a failed jump. And, uh, well, looking at the table, Billy's got a, a one ball, a two to follow. And, uh, He's going to have to set up a 3-9 combo here by the looks of it. And he should, he should already be thinking about that. Looking at where he's got to leave the cue ball on the two. So that he can just stop the, the cue ball in the middle of the table. And get a good line on this 3-9 combo. Well, I think that's pretty much as good as he's ever going to get on it. That was a good... Good shot. So in goes the nine. And it's Billy Big Rigger who's first to get to double figures. He's got the break. He's looking good. And he's sitting leading by ten racks to four. Here's Strange chance to try and get back into the match, but he's only going to do that with better positional play. That's all the the real problem is, you know, the cue ball. You keep that more under control, you're more likely to be running racks, less likely to be running out of position. And this is a a soft drawback for the four into the left middle. That's a shot. He's overhit it slightly, but he's still okay. And again, he needs to get back across to the right, so he's got a decent shot. Oh, I think he's finished pretty straight again. So once again, things are beginning to drift. Because now he's got to work the cue ball to come up for this six. And that's going to finish short, is it? Yeah. Once again, he's put himself into this bother. Billy's had to do nothing. And all Billy's going to be doing is coming to the table and tidying up if he doesn't get a good kick and safe. Well, didn't make the hit at all, so Billy's now got a free hand. Get that cue ball over behind the seven. Not too straight. Well, it has gone, but he can... He can draw back up the table a few inches, a foot or so, maybe. That's pretty good. Just kill the cue ball dead. Well, he's gone too far. Didn't get the stop on it. And now he's got this little awkward one. But, gets it no problem. And another rack goes to Billy Big Rigger. 
and another right where Swain has had his chance but the positional play is letting him down No luck in the break. I'm falling asleep here. It was Billy that <laughs> it was Billy that hooked himself. Yeah, my mistake. My apologies, Strain. I take it all back. I wasn't looking at the HUD. In fact, I turned away for a second and then I turned back and thought it was yourself at the table. <laughs> so it was Billy that was getting in a mess with the positional shot, not Strain. Let's make that important message clear. So Strain managed to get a rack back there. And you'll find mistakes like that all through my videos where I'm too busy concentrating on the balls and forgetting about who's playing the balls. But that's part of my charm, the fact that I keep cocking it up. Right, so it's Billy who's definitely at the table and he's definitely on the three ball. Now, does he just stop the cue ball there and leave the cut in the, fat, the four ball? Because I don't think there's much point in drawing it back a great deal. So now he's going to have to let the cue ball run. And he needs to make sure he still comes down more or less the centre of the table if he can. Down onto the bottom rail and back up. And that's pretty good. I'd be happy with that myself. And same again, get the cue ball up to the middle of the table take any notion of any snooker by that seven ball don't play it soft and fiddly play it firm and make sure you get plenty of room and now you can either try now the dangerous shot is to try and come out behind a seven now he's tried that and he's drawn into it and he's got away with it but that that was the dangerous shot you're always leaving yourself open to mistakes and b bad kisses pushing the ball safe and that's why he's created that problem but I think he's got away with it as well because Strange tied over this 8 ball and that's an ugly shot what does Strange do all out for the thin cut he's got to hit this fairly firm well, in the end, he, he played nothing. I think he tried to play a delicate draw to try and get in behind. I'll give him the benefit of that. I think that's what he tried, but he just didn't go through with the shot. And right now, Billy's under no pressure. He's not getting pushed. Most billiard games have got a simple, um, a simple philosophy. If you if you're not potting balls, then make sure your opponent isn't. Do your best to tie him up. And as it is, Billy Big Rigger has now got a six rack gap. He leads by eleven racks to five. And Strain's fighting to try and get himself into this match. But he's not going to do that unless he starts running the odd rack or two. Well, I presume that was an attempted uh, bank. Now, Billy needs to watch. She just, I think that's why he's taking it into the middle so he can drop down 
He needs to avoid the traffic though so he doesn't hook himself in the two. And that's nice. Nice little kiss onto the nine. Again, he can just play this fairly softly into the corner and leave the three into the right middle where the five is. And he's overhit that slightly. Because that's what he tried to do. He can still cut it, but cue balls then going to be running into balls. Let's have a look what he's doing. Yeah. And this this could end up ugly. Well, it hasn't. He's bounced off the rail. He's on the four. But he's dead straight in the four. So again, this is going to have to be forced. And his chances of getting on the five are fairly slim. He did his best. Now here is the perfect situation. We've got a couple of tough balls on the table. Strain's left himself way short again. He needed to be over another foot to make this a more comfortable shot in the five. But he's got it. And he's got a shot in the six. And this needs to be played gently down the rail. Cue ball's going to be in the middle of the table for the seven. And now it's a little drawback. Well, he's, he's stunned into the eight. But he's got away with it. And now a little roll down in the nine, so... This is a, a good one for Strain to get back. Now, what's he going to do for a ball in the bottom here? Well, two balls going in, six balls going in at the bottom right. Cue balls came up parallel with the one. He's got an awkward cut in the one. And he's not going to have a shot in the three. And is he taking this into the middle? Because he needs to watch the end off here. And he's played that well. And he needs to keep running again. He's parallel, so it's one of these middling type shots. It's a tough one just to get the angle. And again, he's got to watch the end off. Oh, that was unlucky. And he's not getting that little rub of the green. He's missed the three, he left it on. And Billy's got a dead straight four. But he can draw back about four or five inches and he's on the five. Doesn't need to thump this. Well, he stunned it perfectly. But that pace... That pace, the four ball was never going to win, and that's a poor shot. Strain played that with inside English. He might have been better to try and sneak out behind the seven. So now the cue ball's going to be running over to the eight, and he's got this awkward cut back in the five to negotiate first of all. Well, look where he would have finished if he had potted that right behind the nine ball. So it's untidy. And Strain's the one that's showing the nerves. As I said earlier, Billy's under no pressure. He's not being put under pressure. He's not been tied up. He's not had a lot of problems to deal with. He's usually just been, at the end up, tidying up the rack. And... Any competent enough player can do that. But he's left with a bank. It looks as if he's playing this with inside to try and thin cut this. Oh, he's played the bank. And again, way too much power. 
Now here is an opportunity for Strain to steal a rack and that cue ball needs to come out of there. Now how does this look for a shot? Well, th that couldn't be any straighter. There's nothing he can do with the cue ball. He, he can try and steal a little angle to try and run behind it and he's going for a draw. That needs to bounce. Well, he's given himself a shot. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, God. Well. It's now 11 racks to 7. In favour of Billy Big Rigger. Strain Kubrick with a break. And rack number 19. Now this time, something's working for him. He's got couple of balls off the break, the three and the five. He's sitting pretty on the one. Now he's really got to work here to get this rack because these balls, I, keep, I don't know how many times I say this, but the balls are sitting pretty. Again, he's drawn back to leave the long two. That needs to bounce. And it's off the rail. Now, don't hit it hard, just leave the six left into the middle. Now, how does he get on the seven? This is what he's got to be thinking. Now, he could draw across to the right hand side rail over by the nine and leave a cut back. He could stun down off the end rail with a bit of right English and try and come across. Well, in the end, he's lashed at it. He's lashed at it and he's got away with it. That's a wee bit of luck for him. Although the cross bank is on, I believe. Well, Billy's tried to feather it. Now, ball in hand to Stwain Kubrick. And really absolutely no excuse whatsoever not to clear these balls. Now he's going to have to play this with a bit of power again and you don't want to be doing that. And this is a tough one. And the cue ball is going to be running over to that left corner pocket. And he's going to end up behind the nine unless he plays this with power. And he's tried to hold it. And now he's left himself no alternative but either a thin cut or the bank. Well, he gets the bank, holds it together. And that's another rack in the board. Somehow or other, he's, he's hanging in there. But he was helped that time, Billy Big Rigger missing the thin edge on the six ball and giving him ball in hand, but uh, you can only do what's asked of you and that was Stray needed to run those balls and he done it and that's all that matters. But again, unfortunately, he's come up dry and the even more bad luck, he's left Billy sitting prime position in the one. And that was not a great shot, but I think he can still see enough to pot the two. Now that nudge in the three has knocked it safe. Now is he going to try some far-fetched combo in the nine? He's looking at it, so I think we're going to see the old heave-ho again in a minute. Or is he going to think wiser? It's boom bang a bang time. Well, he didn't bang it that much. He actually tried to play a more controlled shot. And he's got that luck again. Left nothing on for Strain. And that's the frustrating thing about this game. Your opponent fails and gets away with it. And when it happens more than once, it's even more frustrating. 
Now that needs to stop rolling. Billy cries the bank, misses the bank, and he's left Stwain a chance. Now this is all about getting on the four because from the four he's got a chance, but again he's lashing at them and not taking his time. And that's never a good sign. Kissing eight has killed the cue ball. And that was a delicate controlled shot there to hold for the five. And he's got again a nice angle just to come up. The left hand side of the nine. So it's all about position from the 8 to the 9, eh, sorry, the 7 to the 8. And he's got to leave an angle. And he's got the angle. Get the cue ball into the middle of the table off this shot. And he's got to just nudge this down medium pace but he's pushed it away and again it's finished awkward it's finished straight so Strain's either got to just roll through and leave the long nine or he's tried his best to get the cue ball out and this is a little tester but he's got it and the deficit now is only two racks now with it being a race to 21, there's always a chance for the tide to turn. There's a two ball going, in it goes. And he's a shot in a one, and he's got a shot in a three. And he's maybe going to have to try and play a four, nine, six combo. Five ball goes into the right middle, or it goes into this bottom right. So again, you've got to be thinking ahead, and that was not the best shot he's ever going to play. I'm seeing a little bit of sort of lag going on in the game. Now, what's he trying here? A little safety. Yeah, we're seeing a bit of lag, a bit of delay. I think there's maybe something going on with the connections here or the server, but it's certainly nothing to do with me recording. So, Billy's got the jump stick out. He's probably going to be putting that away in a second and just going for the kick. Well, he's played to jump over the seven to get the kick, but it's not worked out. Nice. Strain's played that nice. Now, he's got an angle there to get this cue ball just into the middle of the table. No great power. That needs to keep going. Now, well, can he get clean to that cue ball? No, it 
that's a bit awkward, but he's got nothing to do with the cue ball. Just concentrate on the seven. And roll the eight in and leave the nine at distance. It's away from the rail. Oh. Well, at that pace he was taking a risk there. But in it goes. And Strain's confidence is going to build if he keeps this up. So Billy Big Rigger, his lead is cut to just one rack. And this is a crucial rack and Strain's knocking balls in everywhere. Has he got a shot in the one? Well, yes, he has. And this is where he's got to stay fully focused now. He's got himself back into the match and he needs to get this one ball. I worry about the two when it comes to it. And that's well played. Well controlled. And just needs to drop the two in. Nice and gentle. He's on the three. He doesn't have to do anything. Well, that was more than gentle, but he's got it. Now, is he dead straight in the three? Mm, pretty much so. And this is where it's about judgment of pace, and he's played it reasonably well. And now he's got a whole big area to get this cue ball over to the right-hand side for the five. Not behind the nine, though. Whatever he does, not behind the nine. Keep going. It's got to keep running. And same with this shot. Cue ball's not going to scratch. He's going to come off the right mid uh, right rail, left rail, and back across the nine. And a nice gentle nine. No, well, got to take my hat off to Swain. He's stumbling and stuttering, but he's getting there. And he's now back on par. 11 racks all. And you don't have to play at your best to win matches, you just have to dig in. And that's what matters. When you know it's a race to 21, you know that things can change. But uh, Strain's came up dry again in the break. And I think Billy can see the one no problem. Now, alternatively, when Billy's been sitting there watching Strain tucking these racks away, he's now under pressure a bit to run this rack out. And they're all sitting there. There isn't any problem. But he's got to do it. And that's what counts. And he might just get a little tweaky. And there you go. He's pushed that four ball. And he's left it on for Strain. And now the match is taking on a different persona altogether. Because now we're seeing Billy under a little bit of pressure. Strain's got to keep his eye on the ball because there's a chance for him to get himself in front right now. And that needs to bounce, and that's pretty damn good. Now, it's all about pace. Don't overdo it, leave it short if anything. And he's played it reasonably well. And just go with instinct. Don't spend 10 minutes looking at the shot. Just go with instinct. And in goes the nine. Now, that must be about, what, five or six racks in a row? Was it 11-5? Well, it doesn't matter what it is. It's Right now it's 12-11 in favour of Stoyan Kubrick. Is he getting anything on the break? Nothing. 
And again, the nine ball is adjacent to that top right-hand corner. And Billy, big rigger, has... Well, he's got a choice here. He can just roll into the one and take the cue ball off the one in behind the... Or into the three in the, six, the eight ball. Well, that's a well played shot. Now, Strain's looking to jump this, and he's got to be aware of where the nine ball is, so he doesn't want to send this one ball over in that direction. And he didn't get the jump. And fortunately for him, he hasn't moved any of those balls. So the 1 9 combo isn't on. But Billy's made his mind up. He's going for the 2 9 combo. And he plays it well. So now we're back on level pegging, 12 racks all, Billy Big Trigger back, uh, breaking off in rack number 25, gets a couple of balls in the break, and again, he's got no shot on the 1, and the 7 and 8 ball have gone down. Oh, that's a good shot, but again, he was just relying on luck to get on the 2. But he can edge this too, or he can bank it. But he's got to think about the three. And that's going to hit the five ball. And the five ball is going to sit over the pocket. So Strain's got a choice. The easier one looks to be the billiard from the two to the five. Stun the cue ball off the two onto the five. He's trying to play it soft. Well, he's looking for the snooker. He's not got it. And he's just hit that with enough pace. His heart would have been in his mouth there. Oh, again. He's overcut the three. And has he got lucky? Oh, that'll be a killer if he's hooked him behind a five. Oh, dear. How bad is that? Just... Just at the right time, he's got the lucky hook. And Strain's looking to try and kick this, and uh, I don't see the angle there. He's going to have to try off the end rail and hit it direct. And he's scratched. Well, that's a bit of good fortune at the right time for Billy. And it's ball in hand. Looks as if he's going to come up to play the five in. Eh, sorry, the four in past the five. No, he's drawn. Oh dear. Well. That's two, and the first one he got away with it this time, he's not so lucky. But Strain's got a problem here. That nine is tight on the end rail, and he's got to, well now he's got to play this with a lot of power to get that cue ball 
somewhere in the vicinity of the nine ball and we know what these pockets are like when you play with power oh he's played that well that's beautiful and now he just needs to keep this nudging the rail and in it goes so justice was done in that rack Billy got away with the first mistake he didn't get away with the second one, and Strain's done the deed, and this time something's went in on the, the break into that top right hand corner, the five ball. Well, he's got a shot on the one, but um, unless he tries and rolls this in dead weight to keep the cue ball over on the right hand side, he's going to have no other shot in the two. Well, can he play the two onto the nine? Or is it a billiard? It looks like the billiard. Well, that's what he tried, but he got it too thin. And this match has now been going for almost 90 minutes. And we're just beyond the halfway stage. And Billy again misses the two. Now is that two seven set as a combo? Oh that looks that looks pretty well set I think. That looks set into that top corner. But he's is he thinking about edging off the two? If he just Puts a little bit of top on it and rolls after it. Well, he's played the draw to hold the cue ball, and that was good thinking, because again, he could just roll the two in, and he's on the three. Now, this is a crucial rack. Stoyne Kubrick leading by 13 racks to 12. Oh, dear, dear. He put lots of spin in that there. But this time... It's Strange turn to come up with the luck. Had a lot of check on that to hold the cue ball. And that's why he sent the object ball offline. But what's Billy doing here? Oh, I thought he was going to scratch. Well, that's a tough one to try and cut. That's really going to the extremes but had he got it he was on the four again at distance that was a good shot controlled the pace well uh, is he just going to do this slow roll or no he's well, that's, that goes straight into the middle, or is he going to take it long? No, he's going to take it long, I think. No, he's playing it soft. Well, after a little bit of drama, it looks as if uh, we're back to parity. Billy Big Rigger just drops the nine ball in, and... We're now sitting at 13 racks all. Uh, the eight ball goes into the left middle. And all he's left with is a long range jump shot. Or he could try kicking it. Although that's not easy because the middle pocket's in the way. So he's taking the other option, playing the push out. Well, 
against Swain's safety is not getting him into any strong positions here. He's left Billy in. This is very, very difficult to get this cue ball around with this three here. And that's why he's missed it again. Again, you're forcing power, but look at where he got the cue ball. He got on the four. But fortunately for Billy, Stoyne's got the same problem. Strange just played at a much more gentle pace, which consequently means the cue ball's nowhere near the four. Is he playing the reverse bank, or is he trying to cut it into the left top corner? Well, he's played the cut, and that's great. But again, is he going to go too straight? Uh, yeah, he has. And now he's going to have to leave the long six down the rail. And he needs to be careful with that middle pocket. It could just nudge the jaw. Well, he's got it clean. And he's just ran two inches too far for comfort. This is now slightly awkward. And in it goes, though. And in goes the nine. And... Stwain takes the lead again, 14 racks to 13. A lot of movement, not a lot happening. Dry break, let's see what that two looks like. Well that can be cut in. I mean, it's thin, but he'll be on the two. But he's nudged it to the jaw, and again now, Stoyne's got a chance, no matter how difficult a chance it might be. The two goes past the six. And he's got an angle to come over and get a shot between the eight and the four. But he's went haywire with that one. And has he got lucky? Yes, he has. And Billy, I think, is looking to cut the two onto the six to make the six ball. Well, I don't know what he really... Maybe he tried the snooker there. It's hard to work out what he tried. And Stwain... Playing a nice little soft safety shot in against the nine and behind the four ball and that's got Billy in trouble is he trying to jump again well that's a lot to ask of course no chance of getting on the three anyway if he pots this he's actually going to almost hook himself but he can see the edge and Strain might find himself in trouble here if Billy can get this thin enough doesn't want to move that three ball very far. Well, again, he's felt way short in pace. And now this time, Strain has got him tied up in a knot. There's no way he's going to jump that. And now... Billy's feeling a bit of pressure. He's trailing and he's hooked and he's got to look for a good kick and getting it safe. And he hasn't. Now, what about this four ball? Well, the four ball only goes into one pocket. Unless he gets down the side to play a four six combo. 
Now, does he try the combo or does he try the billiard off the four onto the six? Well, he's going for the, the tuck up behind the nine, which again, remember what I said earlier on, start tying your opponent up and Strain must be listening to me. He's using the head and that's how you start putting pressure on your opponent, especially at this point in the match. Make it difficult for him. And Billy tried a soft roll up there, I think. And now Strain's got ball in hand. And what's he doing? Well, he feels comfortable with this type of shot. I mean, you're playing him as close as this. It's awkward. He's hit that. He's hit it to the jaw. And this is why I'm wondering why he didn't take it in past the six. There was plenty of room to get it in behind that six. And he might have just thrown away his chance, although the seven ball still sitting tied up. On the rail, it's a tough one. Well... That's why when you put the cue ball as close to the object ball like that and you've got a distance shot, it's very difficult to judge the potting angle. And so now Billy's sitting here on the six with an angle to get onto that left hand rail as close as he can to make it comfortable. And this rack isn't over yet. Stranger things have happened in a game of pool. Because Billy, no matter what he says, is under pressure now. And he's tried to play that with controlled pace and that's probably as good as he could do it. So now he's got to stun this in and get that cue ball moving. Oh dear, what's happened? Well, I think he's okay. I think he can just see enough of that. But that was very, very close. And a nice gentle little cut. Oh dear, he's overcut it. Well, that could be a crucial mistake. Just under hit that positional shot. If he'd over hit it, he'd have been fine. He'd just left it short. Oh dear, what's Stwain doing now? He's getting excited. And that's a that's a giveaway. That was a golden chance there to get a two rack gap. And Billy lets out a huge sigh, I bet you. It's now tied at fourteen all. Something's gone in somewhere, I don't know where, but the seven ball's definitely gone in as well, I think just drops in so we've lost the three ball and the seven and well what's Billy thinking here is he looking at a cut on the one in past the two that's tough is he looking at a one nine combo that's just as tough and now he's hoping for a bit of luck well that's not bad but that's that eight balls a good guide for strain here if he can get this nice and thin a little bit of left English, you can get the cue ball up towards that right corner. That's too thick. That's too thick. Hit it far too thick, and now Billy's got a straight in shot. Well, okay, he's actually hampered by the four. And this, again, is a tough shot because he's got to get the cue ball up for the four if he's going to try and take it into the left uh, corner. And that's well controlled. And let's see what angle he has. Well, he's actually a bit straight again. And the five doesn't pass the six into this corner because it would have been easy to roll the cue ball through. So now he's got to work the cue ball back across the table to where he is right now, I think. 
he's under hit it, I think. Has he got there? No, he's got there. He's digging down. This is always dangerous. Well, he's held it together not bad. He's got a shot. Again, these are twitchy, these little ones. Well, nothing to do with the cue ball other than just roll it onto the eight and roll the eight in. He's going to have an easy shot in the nine and he's played it well. Now has Billy Big Rigger stemmed the tide again? He goes back into the lead by 15 racks to 14. But he's came up dry and he's left Swain nothing other than the fact that he can see the one. He can hit the one, and he's going to try a little delicate shot here. Something that Billy played earlier on, a little bit of spin, but he's nudged the two. But the spin's worked, but he hasn't got the cue ball tight enough. And this is just meat and drink for a jumper out with a jump stick. Or can he actually see through the gap? No, he can't, so he's just going to jump it. Now there's a danger here, the cue ball could jump off the table. Got it clean. Now, Strain can't see enough of that one ball to kill the cue ball, I don't think. He could maybe do it with a bit of uh, left hand spin and get the cue butt jacked up a bit, but. Well, he's got the bank but scratched, and that's a bit of a disaster, and it's the wrong time for it to happen. He's trailing by one rack, and Billy Big Rigger, ball in hand, will be looking to do justice in this rack. Now the problem is the six ball and the seven being as close as they are, and it's a delicate positional shot. The six does go past the seven into this pocket, and of course this pocket's open here, but to get the six into this pocket, you've got to leave the cue ball high. So let's see what he does. Now, is he going to risk bumping into these and somehow staying on the five? Well, he's managed to go behind them and he's running a bit too far. And again, when you start getting out of line, your next shot gets out of line. And before you know it, you've hit a brick wall. Now he's played that well. He's finished high in the six. Can he see the potting angle? Oh yeah, he can. So the eight ball. Oh dear taking his eye off it all together and Strain's left with a thin delicate cut on the six cue ball's going to be running around the table but he's got to go for it and he gets it where's the cue ball going oh disaster again there's more disasters in this here than the Titanic just when Strain had a chance to tie it up crucially he scratches And Billy, big rigger, is just going to have to play the soft roll in the eight and get that cue ball as near to the corner pocket as he dare to leave himself an easier shot in the nine. But he's running through too far, is he? Oh, well, again, his heart missed a beat. 
But in goes the nine. And Strain just going to have to take a little break. And we'll be back just as soon as the players get back. And we'll resume the match. So we're underway again. After that little interlude. And the match is sitting here at 16 racks to 14 in the favour of Billy Big Rigger. Billy came up drying the break, left the one ball on. But Strain again has no shot in the two. He's hooked and just got the jump shot to play. And again we're getting that funny pause. I don't know why it's doing that. And Billy's got the bank. And this time he's played it with control pace but he's missed it and got away with it again. Strain didn't negotiate the kick. So ball in hand. And now he's sitting pretty in the four. And this racks at his mercy. And this would be a good time to clear up. Is he going to avoid that seven? Yes, he is. Again, he's now sitting perfect on the seven. Can just follow through onto the side rail and back out for the eight into the corner. Well, he's like, I don't know what the hell he's done there, but he's taken his eye right off the ball. Left that a foot short of where it should be. But he tries a thin cut and he doesn't get it. And Strain needs to be careful here. He needs to get into that pocket and look at where the eight is. And I think he's done just enough with the cue ball. Well, that's another one snatched from the jaws of defeat there. And again, that was... All because Billy didn't run through onto the rail and back out. That was a shot to play. And Strain breaks off and scratches in the corner. And what's he left, Billy? A 1 and 9 combo? Let's have a look. Well, that's, that's not on. That's just got to be manufactured. Let's see how he does. Well, it's a good try. It was a tough combo. But the 9 is still sitting over that right-hand corner. And the 7 looks well set as a combo onto it if it comes to it. Well, that was a good shot by Strain. Again, out comes the jump stick to the rescue. Well, 
will be happy with that, especially if this two ball freezes against the cue ball. Strain, well he has a two rail kick on here, or a one rail direct, whatever he, whatever line he thinks he can get, will do. And that's a good shot. How's his luck? Well, he'll take that any day. He's got away with it, and he needed that little bit of luck. And how is it for Billy? Not this time. And that three ball has just gone right into an awkward place. Very tough position for this three. And Strain has totally... Well, I don't know whether he was thinking ahead to where the three ball was, but to miss that one ball, he really should give himself a roasting. But when the three ball's over there, it's Billy that's got to deal with it first. Well, not a lot he can do here other than just play a little tap onto it, I think. I don't think he can... He's going to try and squeeze past that four. Yeah, that's what he tried. Well, fortunately, he's not nudged the four any further out, so... The only thing that... Uh, Strain could do is get the south side of this four, which he's tried to do, and uh, that's not even a good bank, so it's a very thin cut into the middle. And of course, the problem there is the seven, the eight ball was always going to tie him up for the five. Now, again. He just needs to get this over to the other side of the table. He doesn't want to hit this hard. And that's a good shot. At least he's got him hooked. And he's got Billy having to dig the jump stick out again. But if Billy gets this five, he should have a shot in a six. Well, he's got the hit in the five, but didn't get the shot. And now Stwain's got another great chance to get this match back all square. And it looks like it's going to have to be the seven-nine combo. He needs to get the bounce off the side rail. Well, he's got it, and again, that's probably as good he could, as he could ever ask, but he needed to go another couple of inches. But he's played it well. And again, Strain's taking his chance, and we're back 16 racks all. Both players just needing five racks to win the match. And Strain's... Got no joy again in the break. Billy Big Rigger got no shot in the one, though. And if he gets this full in the face, he could get a safety here as well. Well, he hasn't. He's caught it half ball. And that one can be cut down the rail. And if he just brings the cue ball while well, he's had to hit it hard to generate the pace into the shot and again he's no shot in the two so this match is now ebbing and flowing I don't think anybody can hazard again, there's that pause again and that's a great shot 
How's his luck? Is he going to run? No. That's unlucky. Another four inches he'd have been nice on that three ball. I think you can see a very thin edge of it though. Yeah, he's going to set it up. So this match is just coming up to two hours for both these players. And Billy Big Rigger has a chance to get himself back into the lead yet again. And this five ball's a problem. He's got it. Just come. Well, I thought he was going to draw back. A soft draw for it into this bottom left. But he's played some wild draw shot and left himself nothing. And now, unless he gets a bit of luck here and gets the kick and gets it safe, he's hand in strain. Another chat. Oh, that's a great shot. There's no way I ever thought he was going to cut that. But how unlucky is that? Just kissed a six dead on to the rail. And again, when they're dead on the rail, it's not a good bank. Still can't believe that shot in the five, though. I swear that was never on. Now, Billy has taken a chance there. He's nudged the six, and it's away from the rail, and now this is sitting as a good bank or double bank. But he gets it clean, and... Oh, he just needed to miss the eight. Again, he's got a choice. Cut or bank it. And he's overcut it, and that's not a bad outcome as long as it gets into the middle of the table. Well, the thin cut's on, and it's all about position to the eight. And he's overcut it. And where's the cue ball going? Oh, it's not going to nudge behind the eight, is it? Oh, dear. Well, I think the only option here for Strain is the cross bank. Just hit it firm. Try and get the cue ball out of the way. He's gone for it, but he's got the double kiss. And that's blew it. That was unlucky, but... What a stroke a lot for Billy there. And those little rubs of the green are, are looking as if they're what's going to make the difference in this match at the end of the day. Oh, what's happened there? That comes sizzling off the, the corner. And now Billy's in no man's land. What does he do? Does he bank it? Does he cut it? I haven't a clue what he's doing. Well, he's gone for the bank and he's got the double bank and he's left himself on the nine. And in goes the nine. And Billy Big Rigger takes the lead yet again by 17 racks to 16. But nothing has gone in. And he's left nothing on for Strain. Now he might go for the bank as well, but he's not going to get a double bank because that three balls in the way. Well, he's done the right thing. He's looking for cover. How's his luck? Surely he's left it in the gap, I think. Or has he? No. But again... We know what's going to happen. The jump cue is going to come to the rescue, I think. That was well played. But he's got a fiddly little thin cut in this too. Down the rail. It's tight. And he's got to hit it with enough pace to get it moving. 
So the cue ball's going to be moving. And that's a good shot. But he spun up the table. Now can he cut that three in? I don't think he can. This has got to be like a feather touch to try and get that in. Well, I think he tried to play the the combo bank there, the three on to the four. And he's left it for Strain, who's hampered by the eight ball now. But just needs to roll through. Oh, and that's why he's missed it. And again, I think he's rushing a bit too much here. He needs to start using it. At this time in a match, you've got to start using your shot clock and just slow yourself down a wee bit. If he'd taken another four or five seconds in that shot, he might have got it. And I don't know whether Billy can draw off the five and uh, get it across and hold it for the six, can he? He's looking to do that. Well, he's trying to play some sort of delicate shot and what do you know, he's fluked to eight. Again, unless he plays an excellent positional shot, he's going to have to choose and either go for that or try the 6-9 combo. Well, that's a good shot as long as he doesn't scratch. Can he see the 6? Yes, he can. That's a great shot. And he's got to force this in as well, though. And that's perfect. He can actually just stun across to the right and leave the nine into the same pocket. Or he can just roll through, I think. I think the natural angle would just roll him through. Yeah, that's perfect. Big Rigger has somehow generated a two rack lead again at a crucial time in the match and getting balls in the break. He's got a cut in the one into the right middle. And if he avoids the eight ball, he can get the cue ball around the table for this three. Well, he's kissed it eight. How's his luck this time? Oh, well, the run of the ball. Is going in favour of Billy Big Rigger right at the crucial point in the match. And he's going to leave a 5 9 combo, maybe? Or is he going to try and get position? Well, he might even knock the 9 in. Well, that's out of line. Now, what does he do? 5 goes into the bottom left, obviously. He's trying to play it nice and gentle. And he's played it perfect, but unfortunately, he's nudged to eight. And he's got no shot in the six, because that doesn't cut in. Okay, I'm convinced it doesn't. He's too far up the table. Well, again, I can't believe that one. That was so thin. So thin. But he still got it. I don't know whether I would have ever attempted that myself because I'm convinced that was never going to go in. It doesn't matter though. It's in. And he's on the 8. And the 9's hanging over the bag. And he's going to take a 3 rack lead. Oh, does. Oh, God. Now, after that cut in the 6, has he saw the finishing line? And Strain, you cannot mess this up. There's no way you were ever coming back to the table. You've got to get this eight ball. And in it goes. Well, I don't know what Billy Big Rigger tried there, but after that six ball for him to do that on the eight, 
is unbelievable. And there was always almost banging the nails into Strange Coffin there. And Strain gets a four ball in the break into the top right hand corner. But look where the one ball's finished. Absolutely nowhere. And this has got to be really thin. And that's not a bad effort, as long as he doesn't knock the eight in. How does that look? Well, there's no shot there for uh, his opponent. Is he going to try and swerve around us? A bit of uh, inside, it looks like it. I think he'll be happy with that. Cannot complain. This needs to hit and hold up. Now, what's happened here? Well, that's okay. He'll settle for that as well. Well, Billy's managed to get the edge of the one and played the the billiard onto the eight, and he's held up the one. Straight shot. Needs to run through and around the corner to come round and out for that too, I think, though. Well, he's playing it soft. Again, that angle was a bit confusing to me, not having looked at it. This looks fairly simple just to roll it through, but for some reason he wanted to lash at it. I don't know why. Now, is it the bank again? Or is it the cut? No, it's the safety. And it's good to see that Twain didn't just decide to lash out himself there and get caught up in the excitement. Thought wisely about it. Billy's he's going to get lucky here, is he? Surely not. Well, the nine's going in anyway without any help. Well, that might be the first nail in the coffin. That fluke nine. Takes Billy Big Rigger on to 19 racks. Strain sitting in 17 and wondering what the hell he did to deserve that. Strain at the table. Tried the billiard, I think. Come cut short. Didn't get any of them. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a must-win rack for Strain. If he's to have any late chance here, he's got to win this rack. Simple as that. And Billy trying to get cute. Although, all he's left is a 1-8 combo. And that's kissed nine, that uh, cue ball. Just kissed the one nice there when it came back off the rail. I think he can still cut this. And he's controlled the pace well. And now he's got a nice straight forward two. Simple three into the middle. Roll the four in. But leave an angle in the five. That's what he's got to do. That's a must. He needs to get that cue ball out for the six. And I think that's gone straight. And he's got no choice. He's just going to have to draw back and leave the long six. 
Don't go over ambitious. Well, he's put Botman left on it to punch it up the table. Needs a nice kiss. Well, I think I would accept that one. That's the little run of the ball you need. And again, he's under hit it. He needed, look at the amount of table he had to use there. Just got to hit the ball. Watch the end off. He's going for the cut. Is it there? Yes, it is. And all he's got left now is a bank the nine. And this is make or break time. All your eggs into one basket. And he misses the bank. And it's teed up for Billy Big Rigger. And he'll just roll that in. And that'll take him sitting on the hill. In goes the nine, and Billy Big Rigger is breaking off. And what he wouldn't do for a nine and a break. Well, he doesn't get it. I don't think he got anything, did he? Nope. Wayne just plays the push out. Six and eight ball are sort of tied up. Well, too much spin in that cue ball there. But I don't think there's really much on. I think Strain can get the angle in this one. No, maybe he couldn't. Now is he going to scratch? No. Again, did he play the bank? I don't know, but he certainly got cover behind that five ball. And he's just going to have to drop the three and try and draw across. Well, he's managed to do it. He's got a shot. And again, Difficult to say with this shot, a bit of inside English would push the, well he's he's fluffed it there and I wouldn't be giving it back to him, not at this stage of the match. But Strain needs to slow down here, he needs to slow down, he's in too much of a hurry and he's left himself straight and had to force the angle there and now what does he do? Look at that 8 and 9. No, I don't think it's really set. He's looking at it. Is it set? Well, that needs to keep running that cue ball. So the 9 is definitely not set to the pocket now. Billy going for the bank. Is he going all out for it? He's got to nudge that 8 and 9 somehow. Well, he's trying to tuck him in behind the 8 and 9. It's going to sneak out. Has it sneaked out enough? No, it hasn't. And that's a good shot. And now the pressure's all on Strain. He needs to negotiate this shot. And I don't know whether he can jump that. The worst thing he'll ever do is to try the jump and nudge the 8 and 9 open. He should be going for the kick and playing it reasonably soft, not too hard. Well, he's got the jump and we've got the big pause again and he's going to split the 8 and 9. Well, that is, again, a good stroke of fortune there. Or a stroke of good fortune, maybe. And we're on a knife edge. In this rack. Billy 
he gets the kick. How's his luck? Cue ball running to the bottom rail. He'll settle for that one. And Strain has got to put everything into this bank, I think. Don't know whether he's trying to cut it. No, he's got to go for the bank. And he's got to watch because he has to follow through. And I think the cue ball is going to nudge the eight. So he's thinking about just cutting it to the eight and playing safe. And that's probably, again, another wise move. Now there could be a, a, a possible attempt at the bank and a billiard onto the eight here at the same time. And he's looking at the... He's looking at the... Um, angle off that six onto the eight. It could be a two in one shot. No, he's trying to play it gentle. Well, that's probably one of those good bad shots because it's left a tough cut into the middle and it's going to, whatever way it is, it's going to be like an eight foot shot onto that seven ball, which is in the bottom rail. Well, in goes the six, and this he's got to watch the in off this cue ball, unless he does something with it, is going to want to get into that top left hand corner. He's got to be careful because you you want to try and help the seven in. Well, he's. Is he going to miss eight? Well, don't run into the middle pocket, for goodness sake. Oh. And even Strain lets out of uh, a little gasp. <laughs> so as long as he rolls this in, he's still hanging in there. And he has the break, and, and he needs a ball in the break, and he needs to get on a ball. And he's come up with nothing. And he's probably going to be tied up behind the eight. Does that one go past the seven? No, it doesn't. So he should be nailed up behind the eight or tucked up behind the five. Either way, he shouldn't be seeing the one ball. And that's what has happened. Well, it looks a reasonable enough kick shot off the side rail. Why is he not? Why is he looking to jump this? Because the one can be potted. Can he make it over the eight? Well, he made it over the eight, okay, and he also made it over the one. I would have just kicked that. Okay, you might not get lucky, but at the same time, well, it's either or. You you live or die by those decisions at this stage in a match. Billy just looking at the angle he needs in the two because he needs to get away from all of these balls and I don't think that was the best shot in the world he's now going to have to try and play this cute roll the two in and try and find that gap between the four and the five or he's going to have to send this cue ball all around the table so he's looking for the gap let's see what it looks like and he's not found it I think though he could maybe try he could try the swerve but he's more than likely to nudge the five and he can't do anything because the four's there. Let's see what the angle looks like. Well that was a good attempt. But he's not left a lot on here. And then goes the nine. Well, did he play the billiard? We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. 
So now, Strain Kubrick is hanging on by his fingertips. And he's got the break. And he needs a good break. And balls fly everywhere, but none of them go in the right direction. But I think he's got a breather here. He's left Billy hooked. And he's going to play the jump. And surely is he going to try the cut as well on the one? I don't know whether you can play a jump shot like that when you're stuck right against the rail. Well, that answers that question. He actually did sink the one, but the cue ball went straight off the table. And now... Oh, no, no. Is that, is that really the shot to be playing? Is it? Let's have a look. No, it's not on. He just needs to hold his nerve and play the right shot. Get this cue ball out into the middle of the table off this three. Oh, I nearly, nearly got away from him. And the four has got to be cut into the middle. And he needs to watch what he's doing with this cue ball again. He doesn't want to get too much into it. That needs to hold up. Well, the shot really to play is into the top left-hand corner and draw it back for the six. But he's played it into the middle and, of course, that's a risky take. The nine ball was in the path of the cue ball and... He might have just scuppered his chances unless he can dig this six ball out, and that is tough. And he's always going to struggle with something like that when it's so tight. How's his luck, though? Well, I think he'll be happy that at least he's forcing Billy to get the jump stick out again. And again, there's a risk of this ball bouncing off the table because it's a short distance. So the match could all hinge on this jump shot. It's make or break time. Oh, that's a great shot. The cue ball stays on the table. And he's on the seven. He just needs to roll it in. And he's on the eight. And he's got a nice little angle. Again, he's got a choice. If he stuns this in, he risks it rattling in the pocket. And that's exactly what's happened. I don't believe this. Now, whatever Strain does here, he doesn't want to put a lot of pace in this. He wants to just get it out and up the table. And that's as good as he could want. And just hold his nerve in the nine. And we'll have a tied ball game. And in it goes. Well, how what a match this has been. We're sitting at 20 racks all. We're into the 41st and final rack. And Strain Kubrick's got the break. dear he's got nothing and well if that one ball was sitting any straighter to that nine Billy would have been going for the one nine combo well he he's played the one off the nine I don't think he was expecting that. I think he genuinely was trying to combo. 
But now, is he going to try and play the two off the nine? Slam it into the nine? And things are going to be moving here, whatever happens. Well, that's what he tried. And he's got away with it. Is he looking for the very thin edge in the two? It's a wee bit heavy, but it's actually done him a favour. He's tucked it right behind the seven. Because look at the distance he's got in the cue ball. The cue ball's three feet away from where it should have been on this bottom rail. And that needs to avoid the five, which it has done. Where's the cue ball going? And again, this time... Stwain needs to get this as thin as he can, just a little nudge, not any more. And he's short in pace again, he's trying to tuck it behind the five. Has he got away with it? Yes he has. Well, Stwain's holding his nerve more than I am, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was a good shot, that was a good shot, now the danger here is Strain's going to try the thin edge on the two and he needs to avoid that five ball at all costs, he must avoid the five and he's missed the two. He had to get that two really thin, but at the same time he must have been conscious of that five ball. And now it's ball in hand to Billy Big Rigger. And he's got to get from the two to the three. Now everything's sitting. They're all sitting there to be taken. But at this stage in the match you've got to hold your nerve when Billy's, Billy's played a dud shot there. And that was ball in hand. And look where he's finished up. Let's go back up here and have a look and see what's happening. Well, Strain needs to catch the edge of this. Well, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. At some point, these jump shots are going to catch you out. I mean, Billy's been pretty successful with most of them. Again, that was a great attempt. How's his luck? Well, I don't think Strain's going to get a better chance in this and he's got to hold his nerve in this three ball because it's not easy because it's that little closer angle. He's played it well. And he needs to remember where the six ball is and he's got a nice angle on the five. Now is he going to come over and take this in the, the short side? He's got to watch that cue ball into that middle pocket. This is dangerous. How's it tracking? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, it could be all over. But, again, ball in hand. That seven ball is in an awkward place. It does go past the eight. It obviously goes into the other corner pocket. And this is again all down to can holding your nerve and playing the shot and that looks good. That looks good. Now is that seven ball gonna be drawn to the eight and just be a distraction or is he gonna get it in? Well he's played it clean and firm. Couldn't have hit it any firmer. Is he gonna be hampered by the nine? Yes he is. 
but I think it shouldn't be a problem. And all he needs to do now is just tuck the nine in. And in it goes, and Billy Big Rigger has held his nerve and wins the final rack decider against Dwayne Kubrick. Now, that was the best match in the tournament so far, not because it was the best nine ball that you've ever seen, but because the way the match went and uh, how Dwayne managed to hang in there and get himself back into it, and that was very unlucky. The two players deserve a pat in the back for that one. And I'm glad it didn't cost me a penny. But anyway, good luck to Billy Big Rigger in the next round. And Stwain Kubrick, he's going to have to battle his way through the one-loss side. But he certainly has the potential to go a lot farther than he has already. But that remains to be seen.